Grace is a gift that costs everything to the giver and nothing to the receiver. It's given to those who don't deserve it, barely recognize it, and hardly fully appreciate it. And that's why God alone gets the glory. In Jeffrey's salvation, in our salvation, your salvation. Jesus did all the work when he died on the cross. So, I've been asking lots of questions. Because often times we live in that world of it's not fair. My question, first of all, is are you living in God's grace? Do you fully begin to grasp it that we are sinners? And when we come to him, we are living in his grace. He didn't give us what we deserve. And so when we get that contract mentality, we begin to think to ourselves, well, I deserve I'm so good. Isn't God lucky to have me on his team? You know what? I have to tell you, confess to you, I think I probably said it before. When I was younger, in my 20s, that was my thought pattern. Oh, Lord Jesus, don't come back yet. I've got so much more I'm going to do for you. Oh, my. How pompous and ridiculous is that? I've said a lot of dumb things to God before. Not understanding. Today my my voice says this. Lord Jesus, any day. Any day. Come back. I'm ready. And are you living God's grace? You catch the difference? Are you giving God's grace to those that are around? I'm going to say sometimes it's about giving people the benefit of the doubt. You know, somebody comes in and says, so-and-so, da-da-da-da-da, and usually I've learned my first phrase should be this. Wow, that doesn't sound like that. Have you sat down and talked with them? And that's always a fun thing because, of course not. I've not had one person ever said, yeah, I've, talk, I've sat and talked with them. We just want to fill... That's not fair, and I have the right to be angry and bitter. And uh, you go on. Are you living in God's grace today? We're going to sing a song, listen to a song. You're welcome to 